The Rosetta Stone. It was the key to understanding Egyptian hieroglyphics and it is one of the most precious and valuable treasures of the British Museum. The Rosetta Stone is not what it seems. For centuries, we believed it was a simple decree, the key that unlocked hieroglyphs. But that was just the surface. A new artificial intelligence has decoded the stone again. This time, it uncovered a secret multi-layered message hidden in the carvings, a message that reveals a dark and deliberate manipulation. The truth of Egypt's past is far stranger than you can imagine. Cracking the Egyptian puzzle, the Rosetta Stone, it's the key that unlocked the secrets of ancient Egypt, allowing us to read the impossible language of the pharaohs. For over 200 years, we thought we knew its story. But we were wrong. In a stunning new development, artificial intelligence has re-examined the stone, and the things it found are, to put it mildly, terrifying. The AI has decoded hidden layers and subtle inconsistencies that human eyes missed for centuries. This isn't just a simple translation, it's a complex and dark piece of political manipulation. We are about to reveal what the AI found, why it changes our understanding of Egypt's past, and what secrets the stone was really hiding. But first, what exactly is this famous rock? You see, for thousands of years, the world of the pharaohs was silent. Their temples and tombs were covered in beautiful hieroglyphs, but nobody could read them. The language was lost. That all changed in 1799, when French soldiers in an Egyptian town called Rosetta found a massive slab of dark stone. It weighed over 1,675 pounds and was covered in three different kinds of writing. The bottom section was ancient Greek, a language scholars could still read. The middle was Demotic, a later Egyptian script. And the top, the top was the mysterious hieroglyphs. The thing nobody could believe was that all three scripts seemed to be the same text. This was the key. It was a decree from 196 BC, issued by a council of priests to honor King Ptolemy V. But the real work was just beginning. It took scholars more than 20 years to finally crack the code. In 1822, a French genius named Jean-Francois Champollion announced he had done the impossible. He realized the hieroglyphs weren't just pretty pictures, they were a complex system of sounds and ideas. For the first time in millennia, the voice of ancient Egypt could be heard. Champollion's breakthrough built the entire field of Egyptology. We learned about their gods, their rituals, and their history, all resting on the foundation of the Rosetta Stone. And for 200 years, that's where the story ended. It was a solved puzzle, until now. The thing is, Artificial intelligence can do things humans can't. It can process massive amounts of data, see microscopic patterns, and find connections invisible to our eyes. Around the world, AI is already helping researchers find lost cities from space and reconstruct shattered scrolls. So, a team decided to point this powerful new brain at the Rosetta Stone. They fed high-resolution 3D scans of the stone into deep learning networks. They weren't just trying to translate it again, they were looking for patterns in the very carving of the stone, the grammar, and the word choices. What many overlooked was that Champollion was working with a damaged stone and only a few other texts to compare it to. He made some educated guesses. The AI, on the other hand, had access to thousands of other hieroglyphic texts from every era of Egyptian history. It compared every single word, every symbol, every grammatical structure. And that's when the first alarms went off. The AI confirmed small inaccuracies in Champollion's original work. He had, in some cases, translated complex spiritual metaphors too literally, missing the deeper meaning. But the AI wasn't just fixing minor errors, it was finding something much more disturbing hidden in plain sight. The King's Dark Secret. Here's the kicker. The three scripts on the Rosetta Stone do not say the same thing. For two centuries, the assumption was that it was a perfect one-to-one -one translation. The AI's analysis proves this is dangerously wrong. The texts are subtly and deliberately different. Each version was crafted for a very specific audience. It wasn't a translation. It was a sophisticated piece of propaganda. Think about the time it was written. 
196 BC. Egypt was in chaos. It was ruled by a Greek dynasty, the Ptolemies, who were seen as foreign invaders by many native Egyptians. King Ptolemy V was just a teenager and his grip on power was weak. He needed to unite a divided kingdom. The Rosetta Stone, it turns out, was a masterwork of political communication to do just that. The AI's linguistic breakdown showed how. The ancient Greek text at the bottom was for the ruling class, the Greek administrators, soldiers, and elites. It's very political and bureaucratic. It focuses on the king's administrative skills, his reforms, and the stability he brings. It portrays him as a powerful and fair Greek ruler. But the hieroglyphic version at the top tells a completely different story. This sacred script was for the powerful Egyptian priests and, they believed, for the gods themselves. The AI found this text is layered with divine language. It doesn't just call him king, it links him directly to the most powerful gods, like Horus and Ra. It paints him as the divine embodiment of cosmic order. It skips over the dry politics and focuses on his sacred right to rule, using phrases and symbols pulled from ancient religious hymns. This was a deliberate strategy. The priests, who were the authors, were telling each community exactly what it needed to hear to maintain peace. To the Greeks, Ptolemy was a logical administrator. To the Egyptians, he was a god on earth. This artifact was a tool to keep two cultures from tearing each other and the kingdom apart. But the AI found something even deeper. The hieroglyphs weren't just words, they were visual theology. The deep learning models found patterns in the art of the symbols themselves. The direction an animal-shaped hieroglyph faced or the exact curve of a feather could subtly change the meaning or reinforce a divine connection. What's more, the AI detected a hidden structural rhythm, a kind of geometric relationship between clusters of symbols that was designed to mirror the Egyptian idea of cosmic balance. This wasn't just writing, it was a ritual an artistic and a spiritual statement all at once. This wasn't just a translation, it was a weapon of control. A message from the past. But the AI's most unsettling discovery came when it analyzed the age of the text. The stone is officially dated to 196 BC, but the AI found subtle grammatical inconsistencies within the hieroglyphic section. It flagged word choices and sentence structures that seemed much older from a different linguistic era. It was like reading a modern legal document and suddenly finding a paragraph written in Shakespearean English. What could this mean? It has sparked a massive controversy. Some scholars now believe the stone wasn't carved all at once. Perhaps it was created in stages or even restored years later by scribes who were trained in a different tradition. But the more chilling theory is that it was done on purpose. The priests may have intentionally used archaic ancient language to make the decree feel more timeless and sacred. They were trying to give their new, young Greek king the authority of Egypt's thousands of years of history. Then the AI turned its attention to what isn't there. The Rosetta Stone is broken. Large chunks, especially from the top hieroglyphic section, are missing. For generations, scholars have made educated guesses to fill in the blanks. The AI used predictive modeling. It compared the fragments to hundreds of other temple decrees from the same period to predict what the missing words were. Its reconstructions were shocking. In several key areas, the AI proposed entirely new readings that changed the meaning of whole passages. Where scholars had assumed standard ritual phrases, the AI suggested unconventional arrangements of divine names. It pieced together theological expressions that hinted the priests were experimenting, blending old Egyptian faith with new Greek ideas. This wasn't just politics anymore. The AI revealed patterns that aligned directly with sacred hymns, particularly the myth of Horus and Set, the eternal struggle between order and chaos. The priests were embedding a secret religious code into the decree. They were positioning Ptolemy V not just as a king, but as the living Horus, the divine force of order who had defeated the chaos threatening Egypt. This stone wasn't just a proclamation, it was an act of spiritual negotiation, a magic spell in stone to hold the kingdom together. 
But as scholars debated these digital findings, the real-world consequences were already exploding. Who owns the truth? The academic world is on fire. To say it's divided is a massive understatement. It's a civil war. On one side, you have the new guard, younger scholars, digital natives, who are absolutely ecstatic about these findings. They see this AI as a revolution, a tool that finally cuts through centuries of human bias. They argue the AI is spotting complex grammatical patterns, hidden connections, and linguistic nuances that our limited, squishy brains just couldn't see. For them, this isn't just a discovery. It's proof. Proof that we need to throw out the old textbooks and rethink everything we thought we knew. But on the other side, you have the veterans, experienced Egyptologists who have spent decades, their entire lives, with their hands on these texts. And they are deeply, profoundly skeptical. They fire back that an AI can find patterns in anything. It can find patterns in coffee stains, but it can't understand meaning. It can't understand culture, history, or human context. They are terrified that we are putting all our faith in a black box algorithm, a machine that spits out an answer but can't explain why. It can't show its work, and in science, if you can't explain the why, you don't have an answer. You just have a guess. The debate isn't just heated, it's explosive. And here's why this is so terrifying. This isn't just an academic squabble about the Rosetta Stone, this is about the future of the entire field. The Rosetta Stone is the key. It's the decoder ring. It's the foundation for everything. If that foundation is flawed, the whole house built on top of it for 200 years might be completely unstable. Think about it. Every single hieroglyphic translation we have, every king's list, every battle record, every medical text, every single spell from the Book of the Dead, was translated using the rules we thought we learned from the Rosetta Stone. If our core understanding of its grammar and vocabulary is fundamentally wrong, it means we might have to retranslate thousands of texts. What if the Book of the Dead isn't a guide to the afterlife, but a political satire? What if medical texts aren't cures, but warnings? Our entire colorful picture of ancient Egypt could be a fantasy, a total fabrication, and the fire is spreading. This is already inspiring researchers to point the exact same AI at other locked door mysteries. The Dead Sea Scrolls, the Epic of Gilgamesh, the untranslated Mayan codices. Early findings are already leaking out, hinting at similar shocking mistranslations and hidden layers. But the most explosive possibility? The one that makes institutions sweat? Religious texts. If AI analysis reveals that key passages in ancient scriptures, passages that are the basis for entire faiths, have been fundamentally misunderstood for centuries, the theological and social fallout could be immense. It's a hornet's nest. Of course, whenever a mainstream story is challenged, the conspiracy theories aren't far behind. Some groups have seized on this, claiming it's proof of advanced ancient technology or lost knowledge that scholars have been suppressing. To be absolutely clear, that is not what the researchers are saying. Complex writing systems are a product of brilliant human minds, not aliens. Others claim scholars knew about these flaws and hid them. This is just as absurd. Scientists build their careers by challenging old ideas, not by hiding new data. So where does this leave us? Is all this true? Are we missing a key detail? The thing is, this is happening. The AI is finding these patterns. This isn't a conspiracy. It's not aliens. It's just science marching forward, whether we like it or not. The most likely outcome? It's not that the old guard is 100% wrong or the AI is 100% right. It's that the truth is somewhere in the middle. The AI is a powerful new tool, but it needs the wisdom of human experts to guide it. But this revolution brings up one final, deeply uncomfortable question. The Rosetta Stone is currently in the British Museum, taken from Egypt over 200 years ago. Egypt has been asking for it back for decades. Now, with high-resolution 3D scans and powerful AI, a researcher in Cairo can study the stone in more detail than someone standing right in front of it in London. The physical object almost doesn't matter for the science. 
This makes the debate over who owns the past more urgent and more complicated than ever. If the very key to Egypt's past is built on a lie, what else is? It leaves us all wondering, what other truths that our entire world is built on are about to crumble? So what other facts are just bad translations? Has history been a lie? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more secrets from the past.